vos. No, eso es horrible. Yo no, a mí me cuesta. Teacher. Hi. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine, fine. And you? How was your day? It was good. I see you a little bit tired. Are we on the same on the on the same account? Background. Uh huh. I yeah. don't see my background. No. No. It's the first time. I... So ah, weird. Yes. Yeah. I don't know what happened. <laughs> How are you? Fine. Was it a good day? Yeah, yeah. All right, nice. How do you feel yesterday after the little earthquake? <laughs> little? <laughs> At little? the beginning, little. I was confused. Really? Why? Uh -huh. What are you doing? <laughs> no, I just I just heard the sound and yeah. the, and I and I say, wow, maybe it's gonna rain because it hadn't rained here before. Yep. And then I and then I was like. No, it's shaking, and the and my dog was running like crazy. Mm -hmm. But the new dogs don't feel the earthquake like the old dogs. <laughs> no, because it's they a... used to bark like yeah. five minutes before. And yeah, now, it's a bad they were service. sleeping. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they it's about service. They start running when they felt scared because yeah. of the movement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Yeah, but thank God everybody's fine, right? Yeah, thanks, God. Yes. Yeah, yesterday I was concerned because, I mean, five point something is, is strong. It's very strong. It is a strong. Mm -hmm. Well, how's everything? Yeah, I see some people saying good evening. Yeah, Vitalia, good evening. Welcome. I see Isabel. You didn't have problems with the traffic today? Did you? Hi. 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 No problems? Today, no problem with the traffic. Thank God, because I found a lot of traffic. I found uh, traffic, really, really heavy traffic on the way here. I spent like an hour, and I usually spend 40 minutes, let's say, the most. Yeah, but it was, it was heavy. Well, thank God you didn't find. All right. Well, it's Friday. It's our 14th session. Another yeah. Friday in the week. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we have had a couple of Fridays before. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. True. True, true, true. Okay. Do you remember yesterday's class? Any idea? Tell me. What do you remember? Let's refresh our minds. Well, uh, the last point of the class, we was talking about a few words to we search in a dictionary. Mm -hmm. New vocabulary. The meaning, the new, the 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 meaning of this word, mm -hmm. and we will see a uh, a few paragraphs to right. use it. Mm -hmm. Yes, we were reading the the instructions, right, or steps to be reminded, and those words were included, right? So those were the vocabulary in use. All right, good evening. Mm -hmm. Someone else? Anyone else? Don't you remember? Anything else? How about the platform? How's it going? Are we doing okay? Are we doing fine? Are we having any issues? Yes. So far, so good on the platform? It's all good. It's all good? All right, great. For me, all good in the platform. All right, no problems, no questions. No question for the moment. All right. <laughs> yes, remember that when we finish this unit, you have to do the midterm. 
Yeah, we still have an exam, right? And we're about to finish, definitely. Mm -hmm. So this weekend is gonna be really, <laughs> really busy. <laughs> okay. So I hope you can advance, you can work on it so that you don't accumulate all the work until the end. Yes, that will be great. Nice. All right. Well, today is November. Uh, November 4, the 4th of November, right. Okay. November rain. November rain. <laughs> yeah, people usually say that, right? When November yes, but today uh -huh. is, is it raining. It was raining, true. Yes. It's weird. Now the, the song <laughs> is real. Yes, in, in my workplace is it was raining today. It was raining too here in Salvador. And it was a bit, I mean, heavy rain. Not that light rain. It was heavy, actually. True, true, true. What a coincidence, right? Because of November rain. <laughs> All right. Okay. Or some other people say the famous song for no there are some famous song for november actually all right okay this is our class from friday and of course this is our third week right isn't it in theory <laughs> unless because of the holiday that we had this week this would be the full third week so we're just missing two in a day, all right? And we're pretty tight schedule this time because it's almost vacation, you know? Some people take a rest and don't study in December. So practically we are on the final, <laughs> okay? So semifinals, okay? And of course, this is something we've been practicing, as I told you. So the pre-task today, it's going to be about what we did yesterday. So what we talked about yesterday, checking the, or commenting the exercises, the vocabulary that we've been learning, or the issues or questions you might have regarding the platform. So that's why I ask you, okay, if you have any inconvenience, any problem, what else? What else was the general topic from yesterday? Let's see. Uh-huh. Let's make memory. Let's play memory games. <laughs> uh-huh. Do you remember the first part when we say, I agree, uh-huh, I disagree, I strongly agree, I strongly disagree. The survey. The survey, okay, some type, some sort of, some instrument of evaluation, right? Of course, the, the format or the manual presented as evaluating the procedures, though, I heard some of your discussions that caught my attention and sound pretty interesting that you say, okay, a survey for the customer might be to evaluate the service itself or the place or the taste of the food, but not necessarily the procedures or how the workers or the staff do the things because they don't have access to observe that. So probably they won't be the best way to evaluate the procedure. So maybe it's an instrument to evaluate, but probably the satisfaction of the service that you receive as a customer. Because I remember that the manual presented as a way of evaluating the procedures. But I also heard this uh, opinions 
which I, I consider are pretty valid. All right. What else? What else do you remember about the evaluations or the survey? Mm -hmm. Somebody else wants to comment about your discussion? Yes. Okay. I saw we saw the meaning. In a world, I work. Mm -hmm. Spencer, Gert, Simon, Oru. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we found the meaning of some new words, right, that were included mm -hmm, in the statements as a reminder of the procedures, and we were discussing as well if it is a good idea to have the procedures and a visible part of our work so that we can check it out and know what to do or what follows next, right? All right, that's the mini introduction. Let's see about refreshing our mind. It's time for the attendance. Without a doubt, let me get just the right date which is November 4th. Unbelievable how much time flies. Okay, I saw Adriana, she's still sick. <laughs> she's still feeling sick. All right. Um, Carlos? Hi, Christina. Hi. Present. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Elsie. Not here. Fatima. Present. Good evening. How are good you? Evening. Good. Good. All, good. All right. Herman. <laughs> Present, teacher. Oh my God, you are here. <laughs> I hadn't seen you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Good, good. All right. Hector? Present teacher. Good evening. Everything okay? Everything okay. Thank you for asking. Nice. I'm glad to hear that. How... Hey. Tell me. <laughs> Somebody I heard. Mm -hmm. Isabel. Present. Hello, hello. Catherine. Present teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Lucy. Present. Good evening. Mayra. Present. Hello. Present. Good evening. Nuri. Present teacher. Hello. Hello. Roberto. No yet. Sam. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Vitalia. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Walter. Mr. Walter hasn't joined yet. Wendy. Not yet. And Irma. Not yet. All right. Unfortunately. <laughs> okay. Great. Ah, I see some people are still connecting. Hi. I have a question. Tell me. Uh, when I use uh, in the case the, the meaning the words, mm -hmm. uh, I when I use um word. Or found. Repeat. Uh, when I use or found. I don't know, but I, I think something is wrong with my earphones. Because I just hear, I don't know when to use for or out. Uh, looking for. Ah. Or found. 
Looking for or looking on? Ah, o sea, ¿cuándo, ¿cuándo lo uso? O, o, o usar independientemente. Looking for es buscar. I'm looking for. Y el otro sí, no sé cuál es que me está diciendo. El que usted utilizó eh, con el de las palabras found, creo que dijo. Mm, lo que pasa es que es depende, porque si es presente o pasado. Ah. Porque found es el pasado de find, pero find es encontrar. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. es, okay. ok, I'm looking for, pero no he encontrado. No sé si alguna vez escuchado esa canción que dice... I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Y ya me van a bloquear aquí el, <risa> el copyright. <risa> Una vez me pasó y no saben con cuál me pasó con el ABC. ¿Verdad? Incredible. Unbelievable. Me lo detectó. Parece que escuchado. Entonces, I'm looking for es andar buscando. The word is very, um, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Versátil. What is um, English? Ajá, porque look at, eh, look at, look ah, for, no, look at. Eso de los phrasal verbs, los phrasal verbs son estos verbos que se componen de un verbo principal y de una preposición. Ah, dependiendo de la preposición que le ponga al verbo, por ejemplo, look and get. Dependiendo de la proporción, pueden llegar a extender hasta como 50 meanings. Get on, get out, get in, get off. Ay, no, esos son phrasal verbs, pero los phrasal verbs, eh, la forma más fácil de, de adquirirlos es usarlos en contexto. Porque si uno lo quiere aprender así como por el listado nada más, es too difficult. O se puede recordar de algunos, pero no. No, de, de la mayoría, entonces es más ponerlos en contexto, usarlos en contexto y ya. Uh -huh. Look at, pues verá. Look for, buscar. Yes, y ahí los va. Obviamente, como jugar, porque I'm looking for es como ahorita estoy buscando. So, I'm looking for the meaning. Oh, I found the meaning. Yes, of this word on the internet or on, on a dictionary. Pero también look for, puede usar otro verbo, like search. I'm searching for this, for the meaning of this word. Not necessarily you have to use the verb look for. Right? Yes? Good. <laughs> All right. No problem. All right. Well, taking into consideration that yesterday we were talking about the survey como instrumento de evaluación. Vamos a, a retomar la parte de disagree and agree. Okay. So vamos a hacer un ejercicio como para ver cómo se usa el agree and disagree. Si usted quiere enfatizar el hecho que no está de acuerdo para nada, usted le agrega la palabra. Uh -huh. Bye. Agree. Bye. Tenemos agree and disagree. Ya, por ejemplo, si yo digo, uh, eh, no sé, para el World Cup, ya que viene el World Cup, y digo, es Spain, no sé si Spain se va a ir al mundial o qué va, pero digamos Brasil. Brasil uh -huh, es the best team for the World Cup, pero usted no está yes. de acuerdo. Yes, <laughs> no, hombre, que... <laughs> entonces me tiene que decir agree. <laughs> no, yes, totally <laughs> agree. Exactly, entonces usted quiere enfatizar que usted no puede estar más de acuerdo con eso, entonces dice, I strongly agree. Pero, exactly. Pero si solo está de acuerdo o solo está en desacuerdo, solo dice agree o solo dice disagree. ¿Ya? Yeah. Teacher. Yes. Eh, entonces, si yo digo muy de acuerdo, eh, quiero decir strong, strongly. Strongly no agree. agree. <laughs> no strongly very. agree. Yes, like 
una, una opinión, un, o sea, estoy en, en totalmente en acuerdo con eso. ¿verdad? En español nosotros decimos estoy, pero en inglés es acordar nada más, ¿ya? Entonces no, no decimos I am, agree, solo decimos I agree. I strongly agree or I strongly disagree, ¿ya? Ok, le quito el verbo to be. Am, ah. exactly. Ok. Uh -huh. I strongly agree, I strongly disagree. Entonces, el strongly, yes. Is, if it's the past, I can use uh, a verb, uh, auxiliar verb. For I was. No, maybe I, 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 I can change my opinion mm -hmm. about something. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, in the past, I, I was strongly agree. No. No, no, el no, verbo no. agree lo ponemos en pasado, es I agreed. Ah. What? 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 Agreed, con D. Agreed. Ajá, era como yo estuve de acuerdo. Ajá. Uh -huh. O yo acordé nada más, I agreed. But now. Uh -huh. I don't. I <laughs> Or I disagree. Uh -huh. Agreed. 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 Solo agrego una D. Agreed. Uh -huh. Agreed. No. Okay. Right. Thank you. no problem. Bueno, vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso de esto. Thank you. Déjenme convertir la pantalla. Let me share the screen. Y obviamente es, es un exercise solo como para enfatizar. ¿Ok? El uso de agree and disagree. Obviously, esa es como la forma más estándar. De decir, estoy de acuerdo, estoy de desacuerdo. ¿Ya? Yeah? So, these are some other expressions. Y estas son otras expresiones que pueden decir estar de acuerdo o estar en desacuerdo. Tenemos, I agree, exactly, I couldn't agree more, definitely. That's a good point, but I'm not sure about that. I think so. I disagree. No way. No doubts about it. Entonces, la, la labor de ustedes es como tratar de clasificarlo. ¿Cuáles de estas significan que agree y cuáles significan que es disagree? ¿Yes? Es bastante easy y bastante, digamos, obvio porque... Si está como afirmando, uno dice, ah, es estar de acuerdo. Si está como negando, a mí es que uno dice, no, es eso, no agree, right, or disagree. All right? So, para que discutan un poquito, and incorporate a little bit of vocabulary. Vamos a compartir este screenshot y ustedes lo discuten con su partner. Vamos a hacer un pequeño exercise. Vamos a dejar, this is a good number. Of participants. Ahorita se los comparto en el, en el chat de WhatsApp. ¿Ya la tienen? Yes, yes. Okay. En, en la columna de Agri. Ajá, la columna de Agri. Como dijo la teacher, pues, I agree. Ajá. 
I agree. Green. Exactly. The second is exactly. Um, definitely. Ah, vamos a ir por columnas o por filas. Ah, no, podemos ir ajá, horizontal. Por filas, right. ajá, exacto. I agree. The first one, the second one is exactly. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Ah, pero ahorita solo estamos con agri, ¿verdad? Por una agri. Ah, oh, ay, pero así hacemos este, todo junto. Como gusto. A ver, yeah. dígame si vamos haciendo los dos. Ah, hagamos los dos. Entonces, la tercera sería en la columna de Sagri. I couldn't agree more. Uh -huh. I couldn't agree more is disagree. Llevamos dos y una. Dos y una. Ubicarla, ¿verdad? Donde nosotros consideremos. Correcto. Agree. ¿Cómo? I agree. Podría ser la, la Ajá, sí, sí. Esta es la primera. I agree. Pienso que. Ajá, es just like. I think so. Uh, I pien yo, yo pienso que algo así. Es como. Este es un buen punto. Pero. <risa> Ese yo lo he oído más como dis disagree. ¿Cuál? Wow. I think so. I no, no, no. No, that's, that's, a, good point. that's a good point. But. But. but uh -huh. Pero. But. Y me ponemos el no. No way. No way is. Ajá, uh -huh, ahí mismo. And disagree. Y el no doubt about it is agree. Uh -huh. Ajá, que es como que no hay duda de eso. Es agri, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá, no. Ah, no, no, no tengo dudas, algo así. Agri. I agree. I agree. Estoy de acuerdo. Exactly. Uh, exactly. También es algo positivo que usted está aceptando, está de acuerdo en algo. Eh, disagree, ahí sería I could I couldn't I agree more no está de acuerdo más ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, yo no podría estar de, más de acuerdo I couldn't I agree more <coughs> I'm not sure about that Creo que esa también, ¿no? Como de, como de Saigri. Sí. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about that. Um, otra. No way. No doubt. No doubt about it. Y ahí te sale. Bueno, y dice esa no, no doubt. No doubt about it. Es como. Pues se la puse a agree. Agree. Como con no tengo duda. Así está. Así está. Definitely. 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 Pero por ahí está la teacher que nos diga cómo. <laughs> teacher can help us. But definitely. 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 Tienes que, que hacer como la mayor fuerza de buena primera sílaba. Definitely. 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 Yes. Definitely. 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 O sea que Definit
Is that right? La T no se pronunciaría. Mm, no, definitely. Definitely. Uh -huh. definitely. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I understand. All right. <laughs> That's a good point, but for me, disagree. Mm, for me, yes, fine. Oh, fine. Donde lo ubicamos? Sí, yo en Agri. ¿En Agri? Ah, oh, ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, espérenme. Sí, sí, en Agri. Y el otro es, este, bueno. that's a good point, but para mí es disagree. ¿Cuál? La, la, that's a good point, but. Sí, es un buen punto, eh, no pero pone duda. Ajá. 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 <coughs> Para mí es disagree. That's, that's a good point. ¿Qué consideran, compay? Sí. Um, uh, I. Find that. A good point. But, 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 oh, hay un pero ahí. Ajá, ese pero para mí es como que. Mm, mm -hmm. ¿Cómo es? ¿Decís, ¿Decís Isabel? Eh, disagree. Ajá, para mí disagree. Disagree. Yes. ¿Viste? Sí, igual disagree. Ok. Democracy. <laughs> <laughs> Después el otro dice, I'm not sure about that. No estoy seguro de eso. Uh -huh. Desagree. Desagree. I agree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Disagree. Disagree. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Next is, I think so. I think so. Agree. Agree. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What do you think? I think so. Agree. Agree. Me parece que. Huh? Think. Think. I disagree. I disagree. disagree. It's easy. Mm. Disagree. No, no way. way. No, no way. way. Sí, esa, no way. De ninguna manera. Disagree. Ah, no way. No de way. Ninguna manera. Ok, disagree. Disagree. No way. <ríe> no, es no, otra way. <ríe> no, pero eso dice otra cosa. <ríe> es una canción muy fea. La vez pasada la estaba traduciendo y uy, no dice nada. Bueno. En serio. Uh -huh. pues no. No, y esta que no doubt for, sorry with my for my my doubt. What is no? Who uh, asked? Uh, no, I do that. Ahí me salió el correo. Perdón. Casi no lo escuché. Ah, no, que supuestamente el 14 el comienzo el otro. Ah, ya. Un tema de la Hi. Eh, we finish. Done. All right. Teacher, when finish the class or the course? No, I don't know. So I don't All right. Know so yes, the course. Let me check. I'm not quite sure. Let me check. Okay. Thank you.
Hi. Hi, teacher. All right, no problems, no questions. No, teacher. No, <laughs> right. Uh, Catherine, it's a piece of cake. It was yes. a piece of cake. All right, Catherine yes. had a question. She said, when do we finish this course or this module? We finish the 21st of November. Okay. 21st. Yes. Thank you, teacher. All right. Mm -hmm. Practically two more weeks and one Monday. Because this uh, week we had a holiday. Because of November 2nd, we didn't have classes. All right. And um, on the server, um, there are no orange course. I'm not quite sure. I, I will have to ask. Because I understand um, some courses just finish and then you continue in January. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. So maybe this <laughs> yes. is the last course. Maybe. Okay. There's a probability. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> if you. Yeah, in, in your case, especially because you have to do five weeks in each course. And if you start like at the end of November, you won't finish, right? Uh, I don't will connect. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> I don't think I can connect. For you have a celebration day. every day. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah, because last two years there were not many celebrations, I remember. No. It was a pity. <laughs> I know. All right, let's check the exercise. All right, here we go. Yes. Uh, here, here, here. Let me move this right here. All right. In agree. Let's see the first expression. Agree. A, I agree. I agree. I agree. All right. Next. Exactly. 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 All right, next. I definitely. Agree I couldn't agree more. <laughs> no, definitely. I couldn't agree more. It's I agree. Yes, yes. yes. I call agree more. Yes. yes. No podría estar más de acuerdo. All right, I couldn't agree more. Next one. Definitely. 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 Teacher, come on. Definitely or definitely? Definitely. What? Usually people say definitely. Definitely. Uh -huh. Definitely. <laughs> right? Usually the, the sound here, is, the T sound is usually silent definitely mm -hmm. i think so i think so i think so, I think so. <laughs> remember the anuncio como se dice teacher the announcement the tv commercial tv commercial uh -huh. <laughs> because of i think so <laughs> really yeah the um es que lo pasa que lo van a censurar <laughs> Yeah. Pero un curso de inglés, digámoslo. Ah, all right. Yeah. Next. No. I, I no think so. Boy. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Ah. Uh, open, no, no, no sé qué. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. No doubts about it. No it's doubt. like I no tengo oh, dudas acerca de eso. No hay duda. No hay duda de eso. Mm. 
No doubt about it. And the other one? That's it? No more. Okay, what about this agree? Um, that's a that's good a point, good. but... Uh -huh. That's a good point. In English, sometimes we tend to soften the answer, right? That's a good point, but <laughs> the way I see it, <laughs> okay, what I think, y tratan de expresar lo que creen, ¿verdad? what I consider, in my opinion, uh -huh, another, Sorry. I'm not sure about that. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure about that. All right. Any other? No, I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. No way. No way. <laughs> This is very common in English to say no way. All right. Any other? Nothing more. That's all. All right. Great. All right. Usually when somebody says something and this person expect that we agree or disagree, we say one of these expressions, right? So, inventen cualquier cosa, cualquier oración que crean que va a generar una opinión de acuerdo o de desacuerdo. No tiene que ser algo así súper trabajado, súper estructurado. Cualquier cosa como que, ah, spaghetti is the best food in the world. Y la otra persona tiene que decir, that's a good point, but I think <laughs> the best food is, yeah? Como estar de acuerdo o estar en desacuerdo con lo que la persona acaba de expresar. Invente cualquier cosa. Escriban dos o tres oraciones de algo que creen ustedes que va a generar que las personas se pongan de su lado o les refuten y les digan, hmm, I don't think so. <laughs> or, ah, Exactly, I agree, or I think so, or I'm sorry, I disagree. Yes? Ya la tiene? One or two? Bye. I'm agree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm agree, actor. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. <laughs> <laughs> Vaya, pero no hay un spoiler. What? Eso fue un buen ejemplo por mí, de parte de Mr. Héctor. Él les patrocinó el ejemplo. Pero ustedes no, no, no le hagan spoiler. Solo las tienen ahí. ¿Ya? Y cuando las tengan oh, sí. ready, me avisan. Sí, ven, por favor. Pero solamente trabaja conmigo, ¿no? ¿eh? Ready? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bye. Recuerda el vocabulary. Vamos a iniciar con Let's start with Catherine. You can write it on the chat or you can say it on the microphone. Catherine? You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any opinion? No, we don't listen to Catherine. Bro, Me. Yes, Sorry. go ahead. You people came in it from it. 
Yes, people gain weight from eating too much. Uh -huh. Any reaction for Miss Mayra's opinion? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Or you can say it, not necessarily you have to write it right. I agree, agree. I agree too. Uh huh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> but I'm not sure about mm -hmm. that. I'm not so that. sure about that because some people <sighs> have different other conditions, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other opinion, Miss Maida? Hmm. No, just one. Fatima, what about yours? I'm not sure about that. I'm not so sure about that. Okay, great. But do you want to express any other statement? Mm. I think oh. is best that mountain. Okay, you think that beach is the beach. Best. The beach. Is best that mountain. Okay, going to the beach is better than going to the mountains. Reactions? <laughs> no way. <laughs> but he says, I think so. <laughs> uh huh. If you disagree or if you agree. I think so. The uh, uh, The last one. The last one uh, comment. All right, I disagree, says Nori. Uh huh. Or you can say it on the microphone. Uh huh. I disagree. I think the beach is better than the mountain, right? So you can express as well your agreement or your disagreement. That's a good point, but it depends. <laughs> Fatima, Fatima say the beach is better than the mountain. No. Oh, yes. Or both. <laughs> the beach is better than the mountain or the mountains are better than the beach? The beach is better than the mountain. Uh huh. 100% agree. <laughs> Definitely. Strongly uh, agree. Um, I strongly agree, yeah. <laughs> Because Hector said, that's a good point, but it depends how much money you have. <laughs> Not necessary. <laughs> All right. That's a good point, but that's why that's his <laughs> answer. All right, definitely I agree. Oh, definitely I disagree. <laughs> All right, I'm not so sure about that. All right, nice. Let's see, somebody else wants to express something else uh-huh the first one was a good one the ones about the iphones <laughs> uh-huh what about you, no, what you no. mm -hmm. uh -huh. another thought Another belief? Anybody? About uh, the winner that Qatar? <laughs> uh huh. Repeat, What's your please. opinion? What's your opinion? Qatar is going to be the winner yeah. of the World Cup. <laughs> <I'll respond. laughs> Everybody's making the face of like a meme. <laughs> so I couldn't disagree more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyone else opinion? 
Christmas is the best season in the year. <laughs> Definitely. Uh -huh. Salgan los Grinch, pues, disagree. No. <laughs> <laughs> strongly agree. <laughs> <laughs> Aquí nadie quiere reaccionar. <laughs> uh, no, I, couldn't, I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more porque la teacher ya dijo que está de acuerdo. Así. <laughs> Ay, les voy a contar una anécdota que me pasó una vez. I know, and I respect, pero yo lo hice for fun. Tengo que aclarar. De un niño tenían que hacer un assignment, justamente era un writing de una holiday. Y empezó a decir un montón de cosas de la Christmas, pero en, en un writing. Y yo, este, o sea, el writing está bien. Ha usado el vocabio, la ha usado las estructuras, que diversa, todo, pero solo porque no le gusta Queen, no le voy a poner bien. Y está bien molesto conmigo. Te va a poner 9.9. Porque no like. Just because you don't like Christmas. Pero es que sí, digo un montón de cosas como que, ay, qué gente que no sé qué, que, que no lo pone el comercio y bla, bla, bla. Y yo, ok. Ya, ya lo hice. Pero bien que se hacen los panes a medianoche del viernes. Ajá, el, 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 ya de estar cuatro. tan sin cumbia. Claro. Dale un regalito a ver si es cierto que no lo haga. Merry Christmas. <risa> Vaya, una rapidita. El nombre científico de la Navidad. En blank todo. El Grinch. I don't know. Yo Saturnalia. Que... Excuse me. Saturnalia. Why? Así se llamaba la, la fiesta pagana en la que está basada la Navidad. Mm. Saturnalia. Saturnalia, de Saturno. ¿En mm. Dawas? ¿Egyptians? No, 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 es, es, es medio es alemana, el... es centroeuropea. Mm. Lo que hacían era que como los fríos y los inviernos eran muy pesados, por el, y, la, y el, el contacto que ellos tenían con la naturaleza, mm -hmm. por amor a la naturaleza, metían un árbol en la casa ah. y para mantenerlo caliente le metían candelas y le metían adornos y así fue progresando todo el, 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 el discurso ese del por qué tenemos el un árbol Christmas metido tree. El Christmas tree mm. por qué tenemos un árbol metido ahí y la mm. otra es que se celebraban las fiestas de Saturno en la época romana mm -hmm. eso me sonaba a mí como que en Saturno habían comenzado la fiesta Ajá. por ahí comenzaban y la otra y la otra así pues aquí me van a matar los creyentes <risa> Eh, que es, lo que se celebra es el nacimiento del dios Sol, el 25. Sí, eso Entonces, sí hay como, han contabilizado como 12 dioses que nacen el 25 de diciembre. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí, ya, sab, ya sabía que la, la fecha oficial, obviamente, el nacimiento de Jesús no tiene nada que ver con diciembre. Pero no, es que sí. eso es la, la, la iglesia católica lo ocupaba como para poder eh, disfrazar ciertas, como el día de la cruz, ¿verdad? ¿eh? Ajá, y, y lo adaptaron a la fecha, Exacto. obviamente también por el, por el, el cierre Exacto. del año y del calendario gregoriano. Exacto. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Bueno, I like Christmas anyway. Ah. No, lo amamos, lo amamos. Pero ese fue el dato inútil de la noche. I couldn't agree more. Today more, today more I'm sorry about this. Voy a hacer de, de, de gris con, con el café. <laughs> uh, really like uh, the coffee is, is not good. I hope it's reaction. Mm. <laughs> That's a good point, but I <laughs> not agree. <laughs> But I need it. But I will go in to serve me, serve me another cup of coffee. But I my, need about six cups of I coffee. I disagree yeah. completely. <laughs> well, my wife remembered my water. Disagree. The water is in the is in the in the fire. I will serve another cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, true. True, true, true. Sí, también me he encontrado, no solo aquí en esta clase, también. O sea, I teach teenagers during the week. Y también me he encontrado con teenagers que they hate coffee, they don't like coffee at all. 
And I understand because of their age. Yo digo, mm, algún día llegarán. <risa> Pero se da así, ya no. O sea, se da y espérese no. a que lleguen a tomarlo sin azúcar. Ya eso es otro nivel. That's the next level, definitely. It's better. Yeah. It's better. Pero, yes. Yeah, it's better. Actually, what affects us is the sugar. A pesar de que no me gusta, ya le tomaba sin café, pero como pan dulce. Sin café. Sin café. Sin café. Sin café te has tomado el azúcar. Está bien. Azucarada. Sin café. Ay, no. That's funny. All right. Okay. Any other argument? Los que no han participado, cuéntenlo. ¿Qué piensan? What do you think? Tal vez estamos agree or disagree. Sigan con el café, po. <laughs> All right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, that's what I think. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Hot weather, cold weather, cold weather, hot weather. Algunas personas dicen hot weather, hot weather. It's better than cold weather. I completely disagree. <laughs> yeah, completely disagree. <laughs> Uh, I disagree. <laughs> right. Yes, cold weather is more beautiful. Mm -hmm. True. But también este otro argument que creo que va más en, la, en las edades, pero los teenagers tienen como muchas cosas against old people. Y también me pasa <laughs> durante los días. <laughs> like every single day. Teenagers, ellos como, son como muy demanding que les entiendan su generación, pero ellos no quieren ceder en lo mínimo en, en entender a las generaciones antes que ellos. So they are just like, here we are, and we are breakable, we're flexible, we are uh, easy to hurt, vulnerable. No sé si les, les ha pasado eso, que ven que los teenagers ahora son como muy, O sea, requieren demasiada atención y you have to, you have to be there. But they are not willing. Ellos no están en la mínima disposición de ceder para entender a las otras generaciones. So, I don't know if you agree or disagree with that. I'm agree with you. Unfortunately, I'm agree with you. <laughs> Yes, yeah, it's come on. Like, there's no internet. Oh, no, it's the end of the world. And I'm like, what? I mean, nosotros pasamos toda la vida, toda la edad, y teníamos. And nothing happened. And we grew older. We're still here. We survived. We are alive. Yeah. Te yeah, true. <laughs> true. True. But they are, oh, my God. I'm, I'm feeling bad. Please, everybody. Attention here. So it's like they, they are really attention demanding. But that's, that's another thing about generations, probably. Okay. Well, it was a good practice about agreeing and disagreeing. This is just extra practice for you to have the vocabulary. Let me just uh, clear all this up. And let's have the second attendance right away. Here, oh no, wait. I was checking, yes, this is Friday the 4th, the 4th of November. And Brianna, once again, <laughs> Carlos. Christina. Present. Hi, Elsie. Present teacher. Hello. Fatima. Present teacher. Herman. Present teacher. All right. Hector. Present. Isabel. 
Present. Catherine. Present teacher. Mano. Mayra. Present. All right. Nuri. Present. Roberto. Present. Hello. Samuel. Present. Cheers, Carlos. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Vitelia. Present. Walter, oh, Walter asked for permission. He has a, he has a family issue. He says, Wendy and Irma. All right. Present Lucy. Hi. Let's fix this. Okay. All right. All right. Let's. Move on, let's continue. Let me just get to them. That's right here. Okay. At the beginning of the class, yes, everybody remembers that we were um, studying and looking for the meaning of these words, of this new vocabulary, right? So we were using a dictionary to find the meaning of the words below. So this were the, the new words, they're just five words. The Spencer and is used in the first step, right? Here it says, washes hands using soap from soap dispenser. So the meaning that we found, it's a container or an artifact where you can get something from, right? And definitely we have soap dispenser, alcohol dispensers. Those are really common because of the pandemic, right? Then we had the word dirt. So the word dirt, it's being used here in this procedure. Uses brush right to remove the dirt from under the fingernails that accumulates under the fingernails then we have use uses soap between finger and on hands thoroughly and this is the last word we have number five thoroughly completely right so in every single little part of your hands and between the fingers then it says washes hands in sinks from production area. Well, here is not I mean, any of the words being used here. And dry hands with a mechanical hot dryer. So we still miss designate. Oh, not sink. I guess it's sink is right here. Mm -hmm. Right. And designated value was not used. So the exercise five says, are procedure posters display in some areas of your workplace? And I remember at least in my workplace, there are posters of the procedures to follow when there is an emergency, when there's a fire or an earthquake. And these posters are displayed like everywhere because I mean, with the, uh, I mean, we work with the students, so students, you know, sometimes they get crazy and they don't know what to do, especially with this type of emergencies or difficult situations, right? So look at the checklist below designated to verify the steps of, designated, it's right here actually, to verify the steps of hand washing procedures. Do you think the checklist is effective to evaluate the procedure and why. Of course, this is something we were discussing yesterday and we're just doing it right now as a matter of reviewing. Okay. Here it says, in pairs use the evaluation checklist above as a model to create one of your own to evaluate a process you follow at your workplace. As we know, we all have different jobs, right? So, van a crear un listado parecido a esto, right? Un checklist de 
algún procedimiento que se deba hacer, como una lista de pasos a seguir para hacer algún procedimiento. It depends on the kind of work you do. So we cannot do all the, the same checklist because we all have different works, different type of job. So the procedures are definitely different, right? So, pero van a hacer un checklist parecido a este de algún procedimiento que se haga en su trabajo. And then you're going to share. And then you're going to share these procedures of these steps, this checklist with your partners, okay? So the first time is to create the checklist. Okay, this checklist is for all chef and servers, okay? to follow these steps and for the proper hand washing procedures. So you may say, in my case, if I'm going to check, I mean, if I'm going to create a, a checklist for the emergency evacuation procedure at my school, I would say, everybody lives by the emergency door in a quiet, peaceful way. Everybody goes for the safety area, blah, blah, blah. So I use this checklist to evaluate if the procedure of evacuating for, uh, I mean, at this type of event for an emergency is correct or maybe improved, all right? So start creating five, one, two, three, four, five. Five steps to complete a procedure in your workplace. Is it clear? Is there any question? Hay alguna duda con lo que se va a trabajar en ese momento? No? Clear? No pueden escribir. I mean, you can write the, the steps in your notebook and then you can share it with your partner okay let's see most um i think yes at the beginning obviamente no la van a compartir aún porque todavía la están creando but then when when you're ready you start sharing okay all right here we go No, baby. No. 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 Hello. Hello. Si dar un permiso, permis, permit process for plan. Um, según lo que está ahí en el libro, eh, o sea, ahí son procedimientos como de higiene. Pero eso es un ejemplo de higiene, pero puede ser otro procedimiento uh -huh. general de algo, digamos, en una empresa. Pero no sea otro proceso, otro proceso que sepamos todos. Hay que rellenarlo. No, yo quizás eso de, pe de pedir permiso. Uh -huh. Sí, porque no es solamente, ah, no, permiso, sino que hay una gran. Bueno, en mi empresa primero solicitan el, la hoja de permiso. Ajá. Luego, se lo llena, luego se pasa, pero eso es para gente personal de planta, lo pasan a una, a, a un lugar donde se coloca todo y de ahí llega planillas a retirarlo, ingresa la info, eso. Ajá. pero no sé en, en su trabajo cómo lo harían. 
Es que en mi trabajo, digamos, hay una, una plataforma ya online en donde ingresamos, digamos, el permiso y ahí, digamos, ahí esa plataforma después la debe autorizar el jefe y cuando la autoriza el jefe, esa pasa a recursos humanos y ya ellos dan la validación de que está bien y ajá, y ya. Sí, ya está más estimatizada. Ajá. En mi caso, porque lo de solicitar permiso, como lo hago de forma directa, digamos, con, con mi jefe. Pero, pero eso generalmente se da. Check all cars and all, and all people to come into the, to the company. Uh, we don't, we can, you know, we can stay more than the seven o'clock in the office. And uh, the last one, they can say, you have to, to put out all your stuff from the box to they can uh, see it or they can uh, check it. What do you have in your box? Okay. In, or in your mm -hmm. case, what? kind of, of procedures uh, you have to do always in your work. Okay, the first one is um, change the mask. Uh, the security give me a new mask and, and get me a little bit of gel and take the, my temperature. Um, it, this one is the first. Uh, the second one is, um, I don't know, maybe um, use in a correct form or way the mask because sometimes uh, a lot of co-workers uh, don't use the mask, for example, for go to the bathrooms or for go to the another um office um the third one is uh, uh, is start the, the work at 7 a.m um, then uh, respect the uh, Evacuation es evacuación. Ajá. Earthquake. 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 Evacuation instructions. Instrucciones para la evacuación. No, o yo le puse el procedimiento, procedure for earthquake evacuation. Ah, ok. Está bueno. Quiero ver. Vamos con el número uno. Keep calm. <ríe> Mantenga la calma. Um, el otro sería esta de suspender, no estoy seguro. Suspender cualquier actividad. Suspender. Cualquier sería any. Any. Uh -huh. Suspender es como lay Sus off. No, dice aquí que suspend, dice acá. Que, uh, lay off. Sabe que lo voy a dar vuelta. Lay off. Dejar. Es dejar. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Suspend. Stop. A mí me parece. Stop. stop any. Ah, stop, sí, mejor. Detenga. Uh -huh. Stop any activity. Stop any activity.
Está difícil, lo terminaron. Yes. I finished. Really? Yes. Okay. okay. Cristina? Yes. And Carlos? It's okay. <laughs> Finish. Well, finish. Okay. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo compartimos? Eh. <risa> Yo no sé si entendí mal. Así hablado. <risa> Así hablado. Yes. O leído. Ah, o, o, leído, pues, sí. o, leído. O también podemos <risa> compartir este y la imagen. Y después la vamos compartiendo los demás. Ah, uh, podría ser. Puede ser. Eh, en mi caso, el mío es demasiado, es bastante simple. El mío también. <risa> <risa> eh, Por ahí está Irma también, no sé si quiere agregar a... Pero se está escribiendo, Fátima. Sí. Para que nos compartas después. Eh, aquí puedo compartir, ¿verdad? Sí, le das. Sí, Pero sí. Aquí cuando termines, porque... Pero... Ah, ya, no puedo escribir. ya no vas a poder escribir, no sé. Ajá. Bueno, Mejor, yo no después lo comparto y le tomamos un screenshot. Right. My blog to the online platform. Uh -huh. Y ahí. Um, Combin resourcing human approved. Resourcing human approved. So... Uh, quizás en el llenado de la hoja le podemos eh, Don't use a elevator. Elevator. El carro sale la elevador. Don't use elevator. Don't use elevator. Elevator. Okay. Elevator. No, do not use the elevator. Don't, don't use elevator. Don't, uh -huh. don't, or don't, you know, don't. 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 Don't.
sería don't de una sola vez. Don't use the elevator. Así lo he colocado o ahí te, o, o se puede de otra forma. No, así en forma contractada. Ajá. Sí. Ok. Ya van en total, llevamos eh, seis, six steps. ¿Qué otro más? Uh, keep calm, stop any activity, don't, do not run away, don't use elevator, look for a emergency, emergency exit, look for a safety in place. Otra sería esperar indicaciones. ¿Cómo? Perdón, no la escuché. Como cuando ya está en el punto de encuentro, ¿verdad? Ajá. Es como esperar indicaciones del, del encargado de ahí, del lugar. Esperar indicaciones. ¿Cómo se diría eso? Como nuevas indicaciones. Eh, waiting for. ¿O ¿Cómo lo pongo? Waiting for indication. Wait for further instruction. Ah, ok. Mire, mire, Cristina, ¿y la palabra es development o, o, o de, porque usted lo, lo, no, no, ¿cómo lo coloca? Al, creo que en la última, en la, en la quinta es de, develop. El tema desarrollado. Ajá. Ajá, se desarrolló. Está mal Ajá. escrito. Ajá, porque creo que development. Y usted creo que ha colocado ah, sí. solo de, de... Sí, porque si no es como pasado, ¿cómo se desarrolló, verdad? Es como pasado. seguro. Creo que sí, creo que sí. No, yo digo para que revise esa, esa palabra, development. Pero sería development. Develop. No, es que, es de, bueno, yo creo que es de... Bueno, yo quería decir que era como una evaluación interna de cómo se desarrolló el proceso. Ah, ah pues el pasado de Belope, no sé cuál es. De Belope. De Belope. De es de Belope. Bueno, voy a revisar, pero ahorita ah, reviso. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Vaya, ¿quién sigue? Yo lo hubiera pasado a mí. En mi en mi case uh, es para como como para asignarles un correlativo a, a las las cartas que se envían. Lo... And to give the approve approve permit pass. Okay. Elsie. Okay. Um, uh, number one, request permission form. Number two, fill out the permission form with that and fit it based on five. And number three, presenting the authorization of the immediate boss. Number four, on upload to the online platform. Number five, finalize wait for approval uh, from human resource to give the approval permit pass. Vaya, el nombre sería el del proceso request permission. O como... Process permission. Permit pro uh, work process. Workplace. Workplace. Permis. Permis ¿Cómo? process. Uh, in workplace. Process. Así. Sí. Proceso de permiso. Ok. Eh, permiso. Process. Request permission for. Fill out the permission for with day and it is paying or on pipe. 
present is on the authorization of the immediate boss upload to the online platform. Finally, we to approve for human resource to give the approved permit pass. Irma no puede, ¿verdad? No nos escucha. Está fallando el micrófono. Podemos, podemos seguir como ¿qué pasa? Sí. Estará bien el tema. Uh -huh. Yo decía si se le agrega en el lugar de trabajo, porque no le hemos puesto dónde. Entonces te pondríamos. Workplace. Pero... Uh -huh. O, o como dice usted, Mayra, de, de, de buscar otro tema. No, cómo? no, es que permit creo que es permit process. O no sé, voy a, voy a poner aquí, vamos a googlearlo. ¿Cómo quedaría? Ajá, permit creo que es Fátima. Por permit process. ¿Sí? Permit process. Permit. Word permit process. Así. Que sería proceso de permiso dentro del trabajo. Uh -huh. Word permit process. Permit process. Sí. Creo que igual buscando o esperando. Esperando, waiting es esperar. Waiting, Por instrucciones. Es que ahí eh, la palabra a mí me confunde porque para mí es espere. Yo creo que es wait nada más. Sí, Entonces, wait. ¿Va que sí? Sí, wait. Espera, sí. Wait, ajá, espere. Wait. Y la viene. Falta Wait. Wait for instructions. Instruction. Sí, así es. Wait for instruction from the manager. No sé si en vez de manager, es que es lo que le decía yo, le ponemos in charge que es encargado. Sí, este, porque a veces este no es el gerente que se encarga de eso, sino que hay una persona que se encarga de los días laborales. Ajá. Encargado, charge. Le cambiamos a in charge. Sí. Ok. In charge. Ok. Ponga ahí al, en el chat. Ponga. Uh, Vitalia, wait, the further for, for, for instruction from the manager. Así lo dejamos. Ajá, esa es la palabra que le decía yo, further. What is further? Ajá. Esperamos entonces. Ok, Furter. Furter es que, como más o okay. qué? Buenas noches. Buenas noches, mamá. 
También. Sí, sale. Perdón. Fort, eh, bueno, no sé si se dice así. Eh, further. Further. ¿Qué es further? ¿Ah? ¿Qué es further? Ya le voy a decir. Eh, why... Why for further ¿verdad? Esperar nuevas indicaciones. Pero me decía, me perdí yo. Más utilidad. Sí, claro. Sí. We finished, teacher. All right. Good. All right. Everyone finished? Yes. We finished. We all finished. All right, good. All right. Okay, of course, we all have different type of jobs. We all have different type of procedures, but let's choose a couple of you to share. I mean, you can share the screen even if you want, but the idea is that you tell us, okay? If there are some steps, okay, that you include in a checklist, Imagine that you have this checklist on a poster so that everybody knows what to do in order to follow the steps and complete a procedure the best way possible. Or that you also use this uh, poster to evaluate if the procedure was effective, right? So any volunteer or we choose? ¿A quién sugieren para que participe? ¿O el de quién le gustó en sus grupos? Could be. A ver. For democracy. El de quién estaba interesante, el de quién les pareció interesting. No necesariamente tiene que tener una connotación de que pongamos a Fulano participar. It can be, oh, I think this is good to be shared. Uh -huh. Aquí tengo los groups. Veamos, en el group number one was Catherine, Nuri, Sam, and Wendy. Uh -huh. From those who could be the chosen one to share. No necesariamente tiene que compartir pantalla, lo puede hacer nada más verbally. It's someone. someone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, like, okay. <laughs> we have to say someone. I have to say someone. <laughs> right. Okay. Thank you very much. I love you so much, both of you. Okay. In, in, in my case, uh, uh, we have a different kind of procedure. Uh, in this in this moment, I will talk about the security procedure to to get entry to the to the company. Mm -hmm. The first one is uh, all the security men have they have to in the visible part of the uniform her their ID. Uh, when they visit client, they have to 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 have all the uniform in a perfect condition and uh, with the tie with the, the, the shirt and, and the insignias uh, with the company insignia things 
in a visible uh, part of the body, in a specific part of the body. Mm -hmm. Then uh, when they, when you want to, to enter to the company, mm -hmm. they have to check all your vehicle, open all doors, the trunk, and see what do you have inside the car. Then when you down the car, they, they have to check what do you have in your bag. You have to put away your things, or for example, if you have a, a laptop, the, the idea of the laptop uh, is, is the idea of the laptop, I have, have uh, how do you say, it, uh, tiene que ser igual. It has to coincide. Have to coincide with the, with the perform mm -hmm. they have. And when you go out, it's yeah. the same, it's the same uh, order. Security process again. Yeah. But the inverse, in the inverse mm -hmm. uh, way. Order. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Done. Done. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> All right. From the second team, we got Berman, Lucy, Roberto, and Vitelia. Roberto. Okay. Uh, we we do a procedure for earthquake evacuation okay. and number one keep calm number two stop any activity okay. number three don't run don't run away don't run away but don't push don't others away. either right <laughs> number four uh, don't use the elevator Number five, look for an emer emergency exit. Mm -hmm. Number six, look for a safety place. Mm -hmm. Number seven, wait for instruction from the manager. Yay, nice. So all this should be on the poster, right? So as a reminder for the evacuation on, in case of an emergency. Nice, that's great. From the third group, we got Carlos, Cristina, Hector, and Isabel. Cuatro competitors. Nah, I bet van a pelear por pasada. No se peleen tanto, no, it's okay. <laughs> Keep calm. Superstition. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. You bad, <laughs> It's because everybody's like comfortable, so <laughs> comfortable. Uh huh. You choose, teacher. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> no, uh, it's your responsibility. You decide. Teacher. Yes. Very simple. <laughs> Here. And in my in my uh, work, the uh, uh, a couple months ago, the transit of letter is is como se dice que creció? Uh, increase. Increase. Mm -hmm. In uh, in the first day, uh, it's very crazy. 
for uh, this this letter. In this context, <laughs> uh, it's simple. Do a letter. Mm -hmm. Type the text of letter. Mm -hmm. it's, it's simple. Check the list of letters for share. Uh, create a, a, a como decir un listado de de, de números. Assign the correlative number. Mm -hmm. Assign the correlative number. Mm -hmm. Share with the assistant for a pro uh, assistant the director. Mm -hmm. Assistant director. The director's oh. assistant or the assistants of the director? La, la asistente del director? The director's assistants. Director assistant for a pro letter. Mm -hmm. And she is very, very smart uh, for uh, revisar el texto. Uh -huh. And the fin uh, finally send to the customer. Okay. That's nice. Okay, good. In number four, Elsie, Fatima, Irma, and Mayra. Fatima. <laughs> <laughs> then Fatima, I will, I'm ready. <laughs> um, about work permit process. Mm -hmm. In our works, uh, the first step is request permission form. Mm -hmm. Second, mm -hmm. fill out the permission form with date and if it's paid or unpaid. Mm -hmm. Third, present it to the authorization of the immediate boss. Mm -hmm. For upload to the online platform. And five, finally wait for approval from human resource and they give the approved permit pass. All right, all right. Good. Well, that was it. Is it? <laughs> yes. <Time. laughs> Great. Okay, we're still. Yes, we're still on the way to the end of the class, but we still have some time for at least one more activity. <clears throat> okay. All right. This was the example. Yes, you work on this exercise. We just extend it a little bit more. And <clears throat> hold on. Yeah, here you discuss your checklist with the class. You share actually your checklist with the class. Of course, there were different type of procedure, different type of checklist, different type of steps, all right. Now let's introduce monitoring the personnel. This is a new lesson, okay. Interpret the information presented in a staff schedule chart. And we're gonna start by, what is your daily schedule like at work? <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of heavy, I know, but I think we have discussed this previously. It's not the very first time that you talk about your <coughs> daily schedule at work, right? Is it? Esta no es la primera vez que van a contar cómo es su horario en el trabajo. So, you already have described this before. Okay, now think about dancing, like todas las actividades que les toca hacer at work. What's your daily schedule like at work? Who is in charge? A ver esto. Esto es como, ¿quién está a cargo? Who is in charge of organizing staff schedules in your company? Okay, that depends, I know. But most of the times you have a, a person who designs or you design your own schedule in the company. So the first thing, what is your schedule like at work and who is in charge of organizing is, okay, the staff schedule in your company. Dadele en forma un poquito en su mente o de forma escrita como consideren pertinente. 
quién organiza los horarios de trabajo o las agendas de actividades, si ustedes mismos están a cargo, pues lo, lo comparten y ya decir, ok, I am in charge of organizing my schedule, I organize or I write down in my agenda, or if you have a supervisor, a manager, or whoever, or an assistant, or whoever it does the work. And compartir un poco de cómo es su daily schedule at work. Okay? Cuando estén ready, me avisan. Who is ready? Alguien que ya diga, ah, sí, yo, yo puedo contarte cómo es mi horario. I can talk about my daily schedule. Since, yes, I know most of us like to share about the activities that we enjoy, but sometimes it's not that easy to share about the activities that probably we don't enjoy the most, right? So my daily schedule is very busy. I usually get to the office at 7.30 or at 8. I usually have a lot of activities to do in the morning. I do this, this, and this. That's, that's like the most common activities, right? And in the afternoon, I continue working after lunchtime or as I sometimes have a coffee break. Okay, that's, that's the part that we sometimes enjoy sharing about, right? But some other times probably your schedule is really busy and you don't have much time to do that, right? Okay, so is anyone ready to share about the schedule? Ini, mini, minimo. Elegimos a alguien. Somebody who hasn't participated. Uh huh. What about Nori? <laughs> Tell us about your schedule. What's I know your... that you. <laughs> I know that you were gonna choose me. Okay. <laughs> What's your daily uh, schedule? Okay, like? I I I I say my schedule. Uh -huh. Usually, uh, I have to go to the office. My office work, mm -hmm. but sometimes I have to go to the project construction, mm -hmm. and then I I. With to say about when I have to go to the project construction. Mm -hmm. When I have to go to project construction, I leave my home about uh, 6 30 a.m. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I I can to choose uh, the some uh, co-workers mm -hmm. the office. Mm -hmm. And we leave the office uh, about the uh, 7 uh, a.m. Mm -hmm. The car of the office, the pickup, the mm -hmm. office. Mm -hmm. And we arrive, the projects uh, around the uh, 6 45 a.m. Mm -hmm. We uh, make a, how to say, recorrido around the project a route mm -hmm. a tour <laughs> <laughs> okay we make i make a tour around the the, the project because i have to see mm -hmm. the uh, the quality of the procedures the construction especially when when we are in the Finally, steps uh, when when we are uh, paint the, the walls, uh, put the windows, the doors. We have to. Uh, I am. I have to view uh, the quality mm -hmm. because we have to make a. a or, or the better 
our better work, mm -hmm. our projects for the client. Uh, when I make the tours <laughs> around the project, I, I make a checklist and where I think is not too, too good. Mm -hmm. I, I have to uh, compartir. Share. I have, uh -huh. I have to share with the responsible the project, in this case, the resident project, because they have to correct the, the, the bad procedures mm -hmm. in the construction. After that, we have the time to take the lunch in the project. Usually I have to make my own lunch and we have to, to take from my house because mm -hmm. the projects there are not too many <laughs> restaurants food. or cafeterias. Okay, it's not, not secure yeah, <laughs> to, to eat and mm -hmm. not, not in, in all. And after that, uh, we make some uh, documents in the computer because we have to measure the production. Mm -hmm. we, we have to make the cost. Uh, after that, we return to the office. We leave and, or the, the car company and we return our house. Uh, in, about uh, 5 p.m. Oh, it's all. Wow, <laughs> I'm, <is> impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed how much it, you it, have to do. Sometimes it's very tired because uh, it's a, a big responsibility. Mm -hmm. And you but, have to be on the construction sites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's fine. All right. Thank you. <laughs> How long have you been doing this work? Uh, uh, about eight years in this company. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. And before? Before I was in another company around two years. Mm -hmm. But a similar company. Similar construction okay. company. Similar. Wow. That's mm -hmm. really impressive. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you thank sharing. you very much. Teacher. But now yeah. we're going to have beautiful schools in all the country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. today I had a presentation from one of my students about that topic of the reconstruction of the public schools. Mm, yeah, that's really there, there are too many changes. Changes, thank God. <laughs> the government uh, uh, are uh, requiring <laughs> some changes, uh, different, uh, uh, like uh, two years ago, for example, totally different. Oh, yes, definitely. Definitely, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> yeah, but thank God now we're going to have decent school infrastructure. Okay. Yeah, I'm very it's happy okay. with that. Mm -hmm. I okay. agree with you. Okay. Nice. All right. Just one more person. Y usted la baile. That's my responsibility. My responsibility. Okay, I'm sorry. For no, don't me. apologize. I have, I, 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 I have to choose. Yes, so, actually, that person is going to be very happy to be chosen by you. Team Marine and those people. <laughs> <laughs> In even in my name. Okay, I, I choose to firm up. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <Nora. laughs> okay. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm so excited about this. German, okay. please. Yeah. I start my tax at 8 a.m. and my first step uh, is turn on my computer and look at my mail. 
organi organ organizer organizer my schedule. Mm -hmm. I have time of five minutes. Uh, um, time nine uh, a.m. Uh, for drink coffee or where? Uh, in between at nine fifteen p.m. and ten uh, a.m. Call to my customer, confirm my schedule, or and um, release my to-do list in afternoon. Visit my customers. Um, and I realize as as a, a task uh, previous or organizer. It's easy, <laughs> not much effort. <laughs> <laughs> when you say customers, you visit customers outside the company. Uh, out uh, the company. Uh, okay. I am visit the place or the or the company. Other companies. Yep. So you have to be driving in your fabric the city. in your um non the fabric is the factories. Factory. Fabric is still out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but there are factories of fabric. <laughs> okay. Ah. <laughs> no, 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 porque hay hay o sea, usted dice fábrica donde donde fabrican telas, puede ser factories ah, okay. of fabric. No, factory, factory. No, no, pero sí pueden haber. Ok. En caso mm. que le tocara visitar, por ejemplo, estas, estas tipo de... de... Ay. Maquilas. Ajá, exactly. Maquilas. De, ajá, you can say oh. factories of fabric. I do not visit maquilas. Different type of factories. <laughs> Fabrics. Uh -huh. Yeah, only factories. All right. Um, the conversion. Right. Mm. Ok, nice. Thank you. Bueno, de las attendance, veamos, ya se llegó la hora. Thank God. <laughs> hey, no va a dejar de quitarme, teacher. <laughs> Ahí lo dejamos para el Monday. Ah, <laughs> para que no sea vengativo. Ok, Adriana. Still sick, la Adri. Carlos. Here. Christy. Present. Elsie. Present. Fátima. Present teacher. Fatima ya participó en el sección de one on one. Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> Salvada por la campana. <laughs> Say by the bell. <laughs> All right, for man. Hector, Isabel, Catherine. Present teacher. Lucy. Present. Naira. Present. Nuri. Present teacher. A usted le corresponde entonces. <laughs> ok. <laughs> yeah. Ok. Yes, okay. I know, Nuri, you are super good. So, no <laughs> problem. Roberto. Present. Samuel. Present. Vitelia. Present. And Irma. No, no, right. Teacher. Present. Hi. Hi, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Yo no la había escuchado usted en toda la clase. Nos quedamos con Nuri. And the rest, rest. Have a nice weekend. Good night. Enjoy. Good weekend. See you on Monday. Bye. See you on Monday. Good night. Ay, Irma tiene problemas de conexión. Bye bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Yeah. You too. Okay. We are with Nuri. Okay, teacher. Where did you learn English? Uh, I learned English in a, an academy uh, about uh, eight years ago, I think. Really? But you remember uh, a lot. I, 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 I choose the av advanced. Advanced level. Level. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the not practice, I, I have forget some vocabulary vocabulary to, mm -hmm. to, to, to speak. Yes. To me, yes. it's more easy write it. It is very easy for me write in English, but speak it uh, sometimes. <laughs> we need practice. It's not good. <laughs> we need practice, good. but you are uh -huh. I need good. to practice so, uh, so much. 
to develop fluency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... but you remember a lot. That's really great. Yeah, I remember too much mm -hmm. because sometimes I, I trato. I so, try. So I, I try to to speak so with some friend mm -hmm. uh, with living uh, in the United States or, or Canada. That's mm -hmm. a good practice. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. that's a good practice. Definitely, when you talk to a friend. You talk about basic conversations you just talk yeah. about family trips mm -hmm. going out but in this type of courses you talk about other things related to work definitely right okay. yeah mm -hmm. that makes it more interesting more interactive definitely uh, all right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. good well you have talked about your job perfectly i was like really impressed <laughs> Uh, I, I, there are some uh, technical words I I have to uh, look for in the dictionary because right. it's technical vocabulary. Nice, but, but that's it's, normal. Mm -hmm. It's normal because we uh, learn uh, the common language to exactly. communicate. Hey. To mm -hmm. communicate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, true. So you are an architect. Yeah, I am architect. Nice. Mm -hmm. And what do you like the most about your job? Uh, uh, actually, I like to do like a, a say in my schedule. I, I like to go to the project and I like to check the quality uh, of work. Uh, uh, the, uh, the construction mm -hmm. because after I after say after be project manager mm -hmm. I was I were in the quality department mm -hmm. so that's your specialty in my Check specialty. the quality of the construction the quality of construction Mm -hmm. And I have too many experience about it. Mm -hmm. I see. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, many, many people uh, have to scare to me. me they are afraid. They are afraid of you. Uh, they, they are afraid, from, uh, afraid from me. Of me. Because of me. Uh -huh. Because I am strict. very strict. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, in the and right. And right now, in the mm -hmm. construction area, there are a lot of changes, right? Because of the material, yeah. the quality, yeah. the technology. Innovation. Yes, there's a lot it, of things. It's, 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 uh, all the days, we learn some new in the construction and mm -hmm. the, from the designs, from the Material, procedures, the procedures, exactly. Procedures, uh huh. Always we are learning nice. in our area. Yeah. And the costs are very uh, with, uh, different mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. from uh, about materials and manufacturing. Manufacturing. Uh -huh. Manufacturing is changing every day. Yeah, definitely. Now they use different methods, mm -hmm. use a lot of technological yeah, more, events. The most after the pandemic changed all, all in the construction. Right. Because they uh, were up all, all Very all high, material. very high. I, everything is really expensive now. Yes. Everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because of the economical recession, you know the yeah. economical potentials uh, are facing right now sure and what is the project that you feel the most proud of uh i think it is at one school we construct about four years ago it's located in San Francisco Gotera, the, the, the Morazan department. Uh -huh. uh, 
is a very big school. We construct, a, we built two um, buildings mm -hmm. of two floors. Mm -hmm. uh, the classroom with the, one of the buildings have eight classrooms, mm -hmm. two floors. And the other have four classroom and two floors too. They have a, a stairs to go to the second floor. Uh, the school have too many uh, gardens areas, uh, places, uh, banks in the, uh, they have two, um, uh, how to say, uh, cancha. Field. Uh, basketball field. Uh -huh. Roof. With roof. Mm. Oh my God. Like a uh, multiple, it's a, a multi-purpose. Multi-purpose. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Wow. The cost of the, of the school is about a one and a half million of dollars. And all this was from the government. It, it is the government, the education ministry. Mm -hmm. It was a good inversion for the education. And this place didn't have a school before. No, I, I don't go. Or, or what did you ask me? In this place? Can you repeat? In this place, before you constructed the school, there was no school. Uh, Yes, it was uh, a, a very little small school, school, a small school, a very poor school. Uh, bad conditions, mm -hmm. uh, one or two classrooms. The students and, and we, the teachers felt the difference. Different. Oh, yeah. the, the neighbor or the people that live around the school, it, it they were really was happy. Very happy, very happy. I know. A similar story happened when I was in high school. When I studied high school, mm -hmm. the principal, the director of the high school, rented an old house next oh. to the next to the police station. But the house was very, very old. But oh, he it was an old house. Yes, but he used the, the rooms that he set as a classroom. He put the desk and everything. Mm -hmm. I studied there. But when I was studying there, the Ministry of Education authorized the money to buy the land where the new school, where the new high school okay. was, was going mm -hmm. to be constructed. Mm -hmm. I graduated from high school and they never built a school. But when my brother went to high school, a new school was built with two floors in computer lab and science lab and I was like I oh, wanna continue it <laughs> was a complete uh, school yes an amazing, school. an amazing place but I wanted to be different I know of the when uh, uh, you were student there. I studied in a very poor place but the important what? is uh, that you learn so yes so, and you my learned. other brother and I I started there and graduated from high school, but my youngest brother was benefited and he was so happy to yeah. go to study because he even had mm. computers and having computer in that time was impressive. You didn't have computers. I when... know, I had yeah. typing machines. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was in mechanography. <laughs> okay. But, but when we take mechanography, we, we learn to write uh, the correct way. <laughs> I know. But then they didn't use those typing machines anymore. We were like. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. but it's good too. Yeah. Because we learn so much to type. Yeah. But I, I was I was really happy because the principal, I, I remember actually he passed away because of the pandemic. But he was really an inspiration for so many people because he was so persistent and mm -hmm. so, you know, 
it was, I mean, he was so patient to wait because he built yeah. to high school in the places where there was no high school. He built a, uh, a high school in Tejutepeque. Then he built another oh. high school, yes, another high school there in San Isidro Labrador. Because those are very remote towns, you know, in El Salvador that nobody knows. And the towns didn't even have a high school. People have to go to another city to go to a high school. So I so I really, far from their house. To very to far. Work. And sometimes they didn't study because they didn't have the money. They didn't have the opportunity to go. So I was really, hold on. I was really thankful because Okay. It's very interesting your yeah. story. I mean, <laughs> I have a lot of stories, stories. <laughs> uh -huh. but I love your. I, I, I can see it. I can see it. You have too many, many stories. I know. To say. But I love it's your story. Thing. I love your story definitely. And the first thing <laughs> that really caught my attention was the fact that you are reconstructing a school, because not many people like to work for education. In education is I the most important you. thing that we can leave to you. our society. Yeah. Yes. Well, very thank important. you very much. We don't feel the time. We can continue talking all night, but I know you are really tired. <laughs> so maybe <laughs> okay. one day, yeah, maybe one day I can okay. visit you. Yeah. In your mm -hmm. construction site. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that would be really nice. I really Gra love Thank you. Experience. Thank you, Peter. Thank all you very right. much. Thank Bye, you so very Peter. much. Have a good night. Have a good night and have a good weekend too. Nice. Enjoy you too. your weekend. Thank you so much. Okay. Good night. Bye. Good Bye, night. Teacher. Bye. I see you the next month. Yes, true. Okay. See you. Monday. Bye. Bye.